Alright, hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be playing the Panther A here at 5.7. Now the Panther A, it used to have, uh, well it used to be a bit better, you know, it had a bit more turret traverse and it had uh, a better engine, but I think in like sometime in uh, October of last year actually, they kind of nerfed it so they lost all of that. So now it's just a slightly worse Panther G because the Panther A, if you go look at the armor, has a 40mm thick sides and the Panther G has 50mm, so it's basically just a slightly worse Panther G. But, uh, you know, it's still a relatively good tank to play, and today I'll kind of be driving around, and yeah, let's see how we do. Alright, for our first battle, we are here on Stalingrad now, and on this map here, you always have to watch this corner in case someone's watching down there. Luckily, we are fast enough to, uh, I guess, not see anyone, so that means that we can just kind of drive around. Now there is someone on the A point, so I'll just quickly throw in an artillery strike on there. Sadly, it looks like they have smoked it up, so I won't be able to shoot any people going towards it. But, uh, you know, there's no rush. I think we can just wait here for a bit now, and then we can eventually move into the A point so that we can capture it. Alright, now it sounds like there is at least one friendly here right next to us. Now, sadly, he might notice that we exist as well. But, uh, never mind. Looks like he didn't, so we are able to get the kill on him. I do hear quite a lot of other tanks here, though, so I don't think I can go capture the point just yet. Because if I would, then I would alert everyone that I'm here, and I don't want to really do that right now. Um, there's one tank to my left right here, who is, uh, just right there, who we unfortunately can only shoot right there. Sadly, we don't have enough explosive mass to actually get into his hole. So I guess we're just gonna have to be happy with the turret shot for now. And uh, after that, we'll probably have to also deal with whatever tank is right here next to me. I don't really know what it is, but it's definitely not anything friendly for... There we go. See the M6. We'll just get rid of him there. And then we can uh, try and see what's making this really like a lawnmower-like noise to the right of me. Um, maybe it's behind the rubble here. That wouldn't be... Gray. I should probably watch that corner as well. Luckily, there's nobody there. Uh, you know what? Oh, was that a tank right there? Yes, yes, that was a tank. Uh, I can't see him, though. But unfortunately, can't really engage him. Maybe I can try and shoot through the train car here, although it looks like we almost had an opportunity to shoot him there. There we go. Perfect side shot, and uh, I almost messed that up there luckily APHE works wonders so I can kind of just move around here no I will just try and move around this guy that's like to the left of me hopefully he just doesn't use sound or isn't listening so now we can just kind of hold W against him and oh that's 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 not terrible because he's not looking at me and that thing has really slow turret traverse so we can just go right here Get rid of his crew, and then we can go capture the A point. All right, there we go. Since we have captured the zone, I don't really want to go to the B point. Since the B point is really open, and I don't really like going there in general because you can get shot from really wherever. So instead, I'm going to try and go kind of to the side of A to, uh, I guess, prevent more people from the enemy spawn from coming over here. Seems like there's like an IS2 or something over there. So uh, I should probably go deal with that. And uh, hopefully not be seen by him, because he can just go through our front plate. And we did just see a couple tanks right over there. There we go, we see him again. That's I'm going to ignore that for now, because that is the more important target. I'm going to load HE here for this guy, and hopefully he see. Okay, now he sees me. Uh, now we just have to hope that our barrel doesn't get taken out, and then we can just shoot him with HE. And there we go. That does give us two very nice kills. Now there is still another mystery tank here in front of us, but uh, I think our teammates will be able to deal with him. So we should be relatively safe. There we go, he's dead now. And uh, yeah, now all I have to do is, I guess, kind of just sit here because it looks like our friendly team is already capturing C. He is open, and the enemy team has... Uh, well, they actually still are spawned in quite a lot, but I don't think they have much of a chance. Oh, talking about having another chance, this guy is not going to get another chance at shooting anybody because I'm going to shoot him. That was terrible. I'll never do it again. Um, but anyway, let's uh, 
Yeah, it's kind of advanced over here. I don't know what else I was getting shot by right there. Probably something that's on B because it's still getting captured. Uh, that seems like a tank right there. Got his engine. Um, I loaded HE because it's an M36. The problem is maybe I shouldn't have done that because there's like a lot of obstacles in the way. But, uh, you know, I guess we might as well try. And uh, unfortunately, I hit... Mm, well, I didn't hit him. So I'll just have to use APHE here. And, uh, okay, yeah, no, that's just a big skill issue. I really hope I don't get absolutely, uh, rotated by him here. There we go. Shoot the bag of his turret, and that does detonate his ammunition. There we go, I see another Mr. Oh, not see, but we hear another mystery tank here. Driver, gunner, loader, which is everything important. Uh, there's also another tank behind him, but I think I'm going to focus on getting, uh, rid of this guy first, because I don't want to deal with him. And, uh, yeah, after that we're going to have to deal with Chaffee and Jumbo, I believe. That is behind him. Sadly, our friendly tanks here aren't really having that great of a time. Which isn't exactly optimal. Um, but you know what? I think I'll have to try and... There we go. Push this guy right here. And then I can try and, uh, perhaps go help out my friendly... From, uh, the enemy Chaffee or whatever that's harassing him. Because, oh, he died. Okay, that's not great. Uh, you know what? I don't think we are going to do that. We're going to retreat. Because we have no allies over here. I'm right in front of their spawn. So I'm going to try and go hide by this uh, building right in front of me. And just kind of sit here. And hopefully our teammates uh, kind of eventually move up to help us out. There we go. There goes uh, one target that could potentially kill me. The Chaffee is running in front of me. We're just not going to move, and he'll never notice us. And uh, even if he does, it'll be too late. Sounds like there's a... Uh, ow, ow, ow. What is that? That's not important. I think the tank next to me is probably uh, the bigger threat to me right now. So we're going to uh, pay a bit more attention to him, because I don't know what it is. I don't really know where it's going either. It sounds like it's like right in front of me, so I'm just going to point that out for my friendly team. The car isn't particularly important for us, so I'm not really gonna pay much attention to him because, well, he can't really do anything against me. Although I'm really interested now what car it is because I don't know all oh, the concept. Oh, well, it's done now. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. There we go, we can quickly machine gun that guy's driver and uh, I guess the commander or whatever that's sitting next to him. And that does actually give us our 14th kill. I guess like any good War Thunder game, getting cast is uh, always part of the game, and uh, you know what, I don't want that to happen to me, so I'm just going to drive here, and there we go. He uh, successfully misses me, or I guess unsuccessfully bombs me to me on how you see it. Uh, but anyway, it sounds like there's another American tank in front of me. We're just going to hold W against him now. And uh, ooh, we are very close to getting into his compartment there, but sadly he reversed on time, so uh, we weren't able to do that. We only have four rounds left. So that is uh, a bit concerning, but it doesn't really matter. The game is just over now anyway. So I'll just, there we go, shoot him right there. For our, I believe, 15th kill. Yep, there we go. And uh, yeah, no, we don't have any nukes this game. So because we're not at 6-7, so that means that we just kind of sit sit on our kills, I guess, and uh, wait for the game to end. Oh, this guy right next to me is uh, kind of in a very predictable pattern. Sadly, we couldn't pilot snipe him there. But then again, we did critical his engine, so if he... I guess, so well, the game lasts for long enough, that's an enemy tank. Uh, that's not great. Goodbye, Agpanzer. Uh, is my vertical drive dead? Yes. That's not optimal. Let's run away. But, uh, you know, we do have teammates, so, uh... There we go. The, uh, plane that we shot has now died. And uh, there's a friendly panther right next to me, so hopefully he'll help me repair if I just start repairing here. And uh, yeah, I guess now we just wait for the game to end. There we go, looks like the VK behind us has uh, come to the rescue. Of course, always thank you teammates that repair you. And after that, we look into the sky to see a Lancaster. Oh wait, no, is that a Lancaster or a Sterling? I can't tell. Um, trying to bomb us. So, uh, yeah, we probably should hide behind a building or something. But uh, since the game is ending now, I'll just try and get a lucky shot on him. But unfortunately, I'm not a very skilled person, and it looks like our friendly Falkwolf 90 gets the kill, and it was a Lancaster. 
There we go, India and 15 kills, one capture zone, which gives us 4,263 score points. And that leaves us off with a grand total of about 100,000 silver lines. All right, for our next battle, we are here on Sinai. I'm going to try and just go to the C point because, you know, spawn points are always nice to have and silver lines are always welcome. So, uh, yeah, it's always good to go capture points at the start of matches. Now, as you can see, I've kind of outpaced everybody here. And the reason for that is because I take as few turns as possible when driving. That means you don't lose any speed. And, uh, yeah, that's basically how you kind of drive really fast. So the more you know. Now, it sounds like there is actually an enemy here in front of us. I don't really know where he is, though. So uh, hopefully we'll get to the point before he captures it. Now, there is a tank in front of us, so we'll just have to quickly get rid of him there. Although it looks like there was another one right in front of me as well. So I think I'm going to have to uh, go over here to the side because it sounds like there are a bit, a bit too many people around here right now for me to deal all with uh, all at once. So I think we're just going to relax here for now. Hopefully they can't shoot through this building here. That would be suboptimal. Um, but yeah, I think bigger threats for me are uh, right there. Alright, we'll just quickly push and destroy that guy. This guy just tried to shoot my barrel or something. But uh, it looks like he died trying to do that, so that's good. There are a couple tanks up here, and there was also a tank behind me. I'm not sure what happened to that. Hopefully it is dead now, but, uh, you know, now we're just going to have to wait for the zone to capture because there's no reason to push up right now other than to uh, get shot. Oh, there we go. Tank in front of us has been absolutely annihilated by our friendly here. That's nice to see. It looks like this m 6 a one also fired. Unfortunately, I shoot a uh, not-so-smart place on him, so... Yeah, we don't get a kill on him. There we go, it looks like he is dead now. And there's also, I believe, uh, some sort of uh, IS tank here. So we're just going to miss his lower plate and uh, hopefully not be bombed here by that plane. So we'll just quickly leave the area. And I guess we'll just have to try and slowly advance towards their spawn. Oh, there is this tank that just shot me. Uh, he did no very little damage to me, so that's uh, unfortunate for him there. We're going to now quickly turn back around this direction because it looks like our friendly tiger is getting shot. So we'll uh, quickly, I guess, deal with that issue. And after that, maybe we'll try and peek over here and get a look at the B point because it looks like it hasn't been captured by anybody yet. And there we go, looks like someone is uh, going to the B point, so we'll just quickly prevent that from happening. Sadly, it is already getting captured though, so we can't really prevent it from, uh, yeah, getting captured. So that's unfortunate, but then again, we do still have quite a lot of time. There is actually someone on the uh, C point, which I just noticed. Did he just miss me? I think he did. Uh, we'll just quickly turn around here, and he's actually already been shot. So let's turn back around now, because there is actually a tank, like, right there. And uh, we'll kind of just have to... Wing the shot there, and uh, there we go. Let's get an engine. It's not too bad at all. And then now we just have to pray that he doesn't get our turret crew. There we go. We bounce a shot. And uh, yeah, there we go. Excellent stuff. Now, there was actually a tank right there uh, watching me. And he actually did shoot me as well, but he missed. So that's not so great for him. Good for me. Now, we can barely see his turret right there. And uh, unfortunately, we bounce off of it. So we're just going to have to quickly... A bit of a tactical retreat now, make sure to not show any of our side. Then we can move up again, and uh, there we go, shoot him in his turret. And that does give us a kill. Alright, there we go. Zone is captured, and the M18 that I was hearing on the other side of the capture point has also now died. So we don't have to worry about any of that. Instead, I guess we just now go to their spawn, and spawn camp them, and end the game. Will hopefully be over. There we go. Now we did just see the uh, enemy in question, and uh, you know that wasn't exactly too good of a shot. But luckily, we do have uh, quite a few machine guns as backup, so we don't have to worry about that. 
All right, there we go. In the end, we get eight kills, two capture zones, and one assist, which gives us 2,887 score points, which uh, equates to roughly 70,000 silver lines. All right, for our next battle, we are here on, I guess, the uh, normal configuration of Hurricane Forest. Of course, we'll just quickly capture the A point here, and as soon as we're like, at the quarter point, I'll just already start moving because uh, we'll still get the rewards, even if we're not in the capture zone by the end. And I've already called out to the strike on the B point, so uh, you know, maybe we'll get one or two lucky kills, but probably none. Instead, I'll just park myself right here next to this building, watch down this alleyway for anywhere that appears. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we do see one or two people. Alright, well since uh, I guess someone just smoked up there, there's no real point of staying there. Instead, I'll just move up now because, uh, you know, there isn't really a whole lot else happening. We do hear many tanks in front of us. We sue one tank right there who, uh, you know, will just quickly shoot. And of course, uh, I guess keep moving. And we don't really want to go to the right side. I don't really like there uh, because you're kind of out in the open. So instead, I'll just move right up here and try and deal with whatever tanks we see. Uh, gunner and loader, uh, not terrible. I guess my APHE there had turned into solid shot again, which uh, is always unfortunate. But there we go. Looks like our second shot is able to get his commander and driver. Now, uh, I don't really hear anybody else right now, but we can't be too sure of nobody else being here. I think I'll just sit on the capture point here and uh, wait for it to finish and then I'll potentially see what's going on around me because I'm not sure if I want to go to their spawn this early into the game. Alright, now sadly because Gaijin just can't fix their game, uh, we are, uh, there we go, now we're finally stationary. Let's just quickly shoot that guy, oh that's not good, run, there we go, barely dodged that shot right there from the enemy ISU. We could have killed that T-34, but unfortunately, uh, we were kind of bouncing around the place, so we couldn't have done that. Also, T-34 here. Uh, we only got the gunner and stuff. Or at least, uh, he can't shoot us for the time being. He may run around cover, though. So, that's that's not good. Um, we'll just have to shoot his engine there to prevent him from doing that. And then we'll just uh, reload here for a bit. And after we're done with that, I guess we'll uh, actually try and deal with a tank that I hear in front of me, and also the C point's not captured by us. Should probably go check that out as well, even if there are people behind me. Oh, okay, the tank that I heard was is now dead. But, uh, you know, C point is still not captured, so I might as well go get it now. And after that we can go towards their spawn. That is a tank who has now killed my gunner, so I'm gonna have to run away really quickly here. I can't really beat a stabilizer when I'm on the move. Uh, there is also another tank here somewhere, but unfortunately there's too many bushes, so I can't really see him. I think I'll just uh, go around right here, repair my transmission, capture the zone, and I'll just have to shoot whoever comes in front of me. All right, there we go. The uh, PT-76 that was shooting me has actually now died as well, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Enemy spawn also seems relatively clear, so I guess we'll just uh, hold W towards there, and then we'll probably win the game. Ooh, that is a jumbo right there. I do want to get a good side shot on him, so I'm just going to wait for him right here by this corner, so when he pushes up, I can just easily kill him. Never mind, he has died. Uh, yeah, unfortunate for him. I guess uh, we'll just keep continuing moving forward, but it looks like the tickets are also draining really quickly now, so uh, yeah, we didn't really see too many people this game, but we captured a lot of zones. Oh, there we go. There is a T-34-85. We'll just quickly shoot him right there. And then we'll just hold W towards their spawn, because I don't think they have many tanks spawned in anymore. And the ones they do are uh, not exactly the most dangerous for us. Uh, can't really see where that guy went there. There we go. Uh, oh, my machine gun has run out of ammunition, and my shell there, unfortunately, went right through him. So, uh, you know, unfortunate things happen, I guess. There we go, machine gun is back up online. We'll just, uh, keep shooting him right there. There we go. Also, a plane coming right for me. Let's make sure to dodge that. Maybe we can machine gun this guy as well while we're at it. And then also deal with this ASU right here. 
who is trying to be really sneaky, of course, we cannot let that happen. All right, there we go. Uh, in the end, seven kills, three uh, capture zones, which gives us uh, something, something points. I forgot to remember what <laughs> number it was, but um, yeah, I mean, not not a bad result at all. I mean, the Panther A, it used to be a whole lot better. I think I made a really old video on it a long time ago. I think I have since private it though. But uh, yeah, no, it used to be a whole lot stronger, but unfortunately it is, uh, yeah, kind of just a slightly worse Panther G now, because this thing has a bit more sight armor. Uh, if you go look at the stack card here, or actually if you just go into the armor viewer, and it says, uh, where is it? There we go, here it says thickness 41.5, and here it says thickness 41, or just 40 actually, so it's not that big of a difference. Um, but the difference comes here, actually, here it says 50. And here it says 40, so that is the main difference between these two tanks. I guess the turret is also slightly different, but um, yeah, that does it for this video here. Let me know uh, what other tanks you'd like to see me play. Um, yeah, and that does it for me today, and yeah, enjoy your time.